Catching up now with uh, Russell Norman, co-leader of the Greens, joining us in Christchurch today. I think he's just about to sit down to some breakfast. Gosh, you must be hungry, Russell. Good morning. Good morning, Wemo. How's it going? Yeah, it's a bit of a late breakfast for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had the, the morning service um, at, at, at um, Latimore Square. Now, of course, Latimore Square was where uh, the triage was set up um, a year ago. Um, to to deal with the uh, with the injured, um, what was the mood there like this morning? Um, it was pretty sombre. Uh, there was a lot of um, uh, obviously it was you know about the families of those who were killed, mm. and there were a lot of families who come from overseas as well. Um, so there was a you know a big group of of families, and so yeah, for them it was um, you know remembering those if you know their family members they'd lost. That was pretty tough, actually. I think. Yeah. Was there was there much talking about the experience of the day, or or was there also talk of uh, the future? Um, there was a, there was a bit of talk about the future, but mostly it was about looking back um, mm. and remembering. Mm. Uh, so that that was kind of the main thing. I mean, John Key was there, and he talked a bit about the future. You know, the commitment of the rest of New Zealand. Yeah. Um, to supporting the rebuild of Christchurch, and I think that was important. Um, people at Christchurch got to know that we're behind them. Um, so yeah, so there's a bit of both. So over the over the last year, I mean, you would have checked in and out of Christchurch um, on on many occasions. Um, yeah, what 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 are the some of the things that you've noticed, um, and how the city has has changed over that year? I, I actually think it's a you know, well, my personal experience is that it's a, that now is quite a difficult time because when you, like, even if you go into the um, the mall, you know, the container mall in Cashel Street, Cashel Mall, it, you, you just lose your bearings because everything's, you know, all the buildings that used to be how you oriented yourself to Christchurch have gone. A yeah. lot of them have. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a period, I think, which is quite tough because it's like a loss of identity, but before the new identity is built, you know, um, so yeah, and that's going to go on for a while yet, um, because there's still a lot of buildings to come down. So I actually think this period is going to be quite difficult. As the as the new comes to light, I mean, people will like it or they won't like it, but at least it will be something new and and kind of going forward, you know. Yeah, it is a strange sort of day, uh, and with respect to that, um, you know, that, that the event happened a year ago, but it's an ongoing event, isn't it? I mean, the the, the earth is still occasionally moving. Uh, people's lives are, are still turned upside down and, and a lot of people still in limbo as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the limbo that really uh, people are finding very difficult. Um, you know, there's still orange zoned areas, you know, the areas where they haven't made final decisions yet about the ground and whether, whether to rebuild or not. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's in some ways the hardest part of it. I mean, I'm sure we all know, you know, people that are down here or that have left and mm. it's just you know that ongoing uncertainty was very very difficult is very very difficult for people mm. you you're uh, you're uh, obviously in in that some um, cbd area at the moment um you know, do you, do you think that that is where the focus of christchurch will eventually be or you know what is your feeling do you think it'll be somewhere else well, I mean, there's been, you know, quite an interesting kind of emergence of centres outside the CBD, um, just because, you know, there's had to be. Where do people go if they want to go out for dinner and stuff? Um, and I'm actually just outside the CBD now to go to a cafe, uh, and I think that's pretty common. Yeah. Um, but I think over time, um, you know, once the re... If, you know, assuming a good quality rebuild happens, and, and there's still obviously a lot of debate about the nature of, of the CBD and what it should look like, um, then, in fact, in some some people are saying let's not call it the central business district, let's call it the central city because mm. it should be a place where people live as well as work. You know, um, so there's, that kind of epitomises the debate about what the future of central Christchurch should look like in yeah. a way. Um, but I mean, I'm quite hopeful that it, it that will get a really good outcome um, and that it will become you know a very vibrant centre again. Mm. Where do you th- where do you expect Christchurch will be in a year's time? Uh, I think that um, the the kind of red zone in the middle of town will have shrunk down quite a lot, um, but um, the, there'll still be demolitions going on. Right. I mean, it's going to take a while yet. Yeah. Um, the, how is the rest of the day going to unfold for you there in Christchurch? 
Uh, there's a there's kind of a big um, public event um, in Hagley Park at lunchtime. Uh, so yeah, I'll go down there and um, just also just catching up with people, which is good. But um, yeah, just that's kind of the main next big thing, and I think that will be a much bigger thing as well. Yeah. Um, of course, people will be able to uh, watch all that uh, that going on on TV as well, and uh, we'll also be marking uh, the time uh, twelve fifty one here on Kiwi as well. Russell, thanks very much for your time uh, this morning, and we look forward to catching up next week. Pleasure. Thanks very much, Russell Norman, co-leader of the Greens.